I'm in the mango plantation with Alex and Sandy Ekesi, experts from Isipe. Isipe develop ways of pest control with limited use of chemicals and they're winning the battle against fruit flies. The problem is that the yield is going low over the years and uh, I want to know why it is getting low and what the solution is. One of the things that may be responsible for this loss is fruit flies. And there are two different kinds of fruit flies as I've displayed here, but I'll show you this particular one that looks like a wasp. Mm. Most of the farmers think that they are wasps, but they are not. What they do is lay eggs on fruits, like this. You will see these dark spots. Mm -hmm. And as a result, maggots will develop inside, and this is the result. There is a drop, and as a result, there is a major yield loss in your farm. Unlike a clean mango, as you can see in this regard. Right. Sunday is going to show us how to suppress the fruit flies. Okay, the first thing you do yes. is to get a bait and a trap. Right. And then mix the bait at the instruction on the label, put it into the trap, and hang it in your orchard. That's, that's it. That's just that. Do you have any question? How do the fruit flies get attracted to the trap? What happens is that the fruit flies like protein, and this is a protein bait. The females require protein to mature their eggs, so they will always like to go and feed on proteins, and in that process, they will get trapped inside your trap. When you see two fruit flies this week, the next week you see five, the next week you see seven, it tells you that the fruit flies have started coming into your orchard. So, for step one of fighting fruit flies, we mix a protein bait called Mazofem with water. Fill the traps and hang the traps in the mango trees. Oh, are these more fruit flies? No, Alex. These are not fruit flies. These are the natural enemies of fruit flies, otherwise called the farmer's friends. Mm -hmm. These ones laid eggs on the maggots that are found inside the fruits and kill them. Right. And when you complement this with the other management methods, it mm -hmm. will again substantially reduce fruit fly burden in your farm. What problems have you encountered? Or has everything just been good and all rosy? No. We have that problem. When you cut inside the fruit, mm. you see an, an insect there. That's a, a fruit fly, and uh, to deal with that fruit fly, we use this trap. There is a, a, a pheromone yes. which attracts a, a male fruit fly. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a, a chemical that kills that fruit fly because it has a pheromone which uh, smells like a female, uh -huh. female fruit fly. So the, the male fruit fly will think it's meeting the female for mating. Yeah. And when it comes now, it is trapped. Yeah, it is trapped. Then it, is, it dies. Fruit fly is a big menace to most mango farmers in this region. Fruit flies can contribute to 50 to 80 percent harvest loss in mangoes. Therefore, there is need to control these flies. Use of fruit fly traps, therefore, is very important. Install fruit fly traps at every 10 to 15 trees in your farm. And this may reduce depending on the intensity of the fruit flies or the production level of the orchard.